say yeah, yeah, yeah. I beat you, yeah. I beat you, say yeah. Mr. President, the First Lady, the Vice President, the Second Lady, Chief of Staff, National Chairman, Council of Elders Chairman, Election Committees Chairman, my colleagues, aspirants, all protocol observe. Ah, indeed, it's a great day today. I believe the party has been fair and transparent. Yes! That is the only thing I've always been preaching. And I must admit, this is election is fair. And my grassroots have spoken. And therefore, I accept the results in good faith. I pledge my support that we're going to work tirelessly to break the eight. So, party members that we are here, we should put everything behind us and let's unite this party. With unity, I believe we can break the eight. And that is all I've been preaching for. So, I congratulate the Elections Committee the police department, electoral commission, and the party members for the commitment you've shown for peace. And I want to assure you, in 2024, the showdown is being translated. <laughs> We have to come together and give NDC a showdown. Showdown! <laughs> so, I want to say thank you. To we stand here today in celebration, but the real work starts now. And I have no intention of slowing down. I will get right back to work. Sit down with Ghanaians from all walks of life, from civil society and student organizations to young professionals, stakeholders in the business community and religious leadership. The position I seek needs to be earned and I intend to show every single voter from the farmer to the financial head that I am the right man for the job. I will listen to your concerns and answer your questions because we are partners in this process and any worthwhile gain comes from communal investment. We speak about breaking the eight but it's important to remember that the, that's, that's more than just a slogan. By breaking the eight, we break with the culture of complacency. We reject the tacit agreement that power is handed over every eight years, thereby relinquishing responsibility for the growth of this nation. This eight-year cycle stands in the way 
of a long-term vision for Ghana. Therefore, breaking it is not about MPP bragging rights. It is about being able to successfully implement long-term visions and policies under a consistent leadership. Breaking the eight is not about partisanship, but about patriotism. And knowing that Ghana deserves consistency, focus, and follow through, not political bickering and division. We will break the eight in unity, and we will govern in unity, because regardless of the margin of our victory, we govern for and in the interest of 100% of Ghanaians. We have two tasks ahead, ladies and gentlemen. First is to lead the new patriotic party to victory in 2024. And secondly, to steward this nation from recovery to prosperity. Given the chance, I am determined to serve as a leader for a united Ghana, for all Ghanaians, regardless of background, circumstance, or socioeconomic status. Ghana is a haven of peace and coexistence. And, many, and one of the many strengths of our nation is that while we may differ and debate, come together in unity for the good of Mother Ghana. We will come together in unity. I have felt the hope and unity as I have traveled across the country over these past months. And I feel it here today as we prepare to build back better for us all. So, we celebrate today, but tomorrow we get back to work for you, for Ghana, and for all of us.